Hello and welcome back. I know I said I wasn't actually going to do a reaction video to this episode of Red vs. Blue just because I was really busy with Khan, but as seems to be a reoccurring trend here, um, Ollie started screaming at me that Jen Brown was in this episode, but not in a way I would expect. And you know me with my favorite characters, Pura, Nikos, and you know, Jen Brown being Jen Brown. It would be very hard not to watch it. So I figured even though this will be up a lot later than they usually are, I usually have these videos up on Monday and this will be more likely up on either late Wednesday or Thursday, that, you know, I figured I may as well record it, not for, just for personal use, laughing at my own expressions, and I felt really cute today. So frankly, no harm, no foul. And l I'm sorry if this is exceptionally quiet. It's been a really weird technological day. My laptop's crapping out. I'm looking at getting a gaming laptop because I'm not going to have space for a gaming PC in college. So rocking the filthy casual hat. But so this is going to be uh, Red vs. Blue Season 14, Episode 5, The Brick Gulch Chronicles, which I'm excited for. I wasn't sure what to think about it, but now I'm very excited for it because I saw a single GIF. I was managed to go completely spoiler-free except for a single GIF. And because of that GIF, I know that some of my favorites are in it. And by my favorites, I don't mean my favorite freelancers. I do mean my favorite Core Blood Gulch crew, which is amazing. So here we go. And I do realize that still, again, before I start, that the video is still really choppy. Part of that is because my computer cannot physically handle having it run smoothly and record this video at the same time. The other part of it is it keeps you guys from having to watch it on YouTube through this way instead of waiting for it to come out on YouTube in a week. Totally planned it. Definitely not technical issues. And I'm still working on the mic problem. I really am. I swear to God I am. And I should be streaming again soon. So with those introductions and news bulletins out of the way, I'm going to watch the video, which is going to be exciting. <laughs> oh. I am very excited for RTX this year. Got my hotel all planned out and everything, and I'll be actually talking about that at the end of this video. Yo, you ever hear of that Fick. multiverse theory? Mm -hmm. Way crazy, amigo. A bunch of eggheads think there's an unlimited number of parallel universes. You're an egghead. There could be one where no one's heard of Red vs. Blue. It could be like Green vs. Beige. Or there could be a universe where we're all fish. I know I said fish as an example. Maybe there's a universe out there where I made a better analogy. Let's all swim to that one. Dude, there could even be a universe where we don't even exist. Or maybe we're just part of someone's dream. Maybe we're in that universe right now. Maybe this is all just part of some kid's imagination. I love Vic. Would be weird. <laughs> yes, it would be weird, Vic, but that's kind of the point. <laughs> oh my god. You ever wonder why we're here? Yes. I actually have a theory about that. <laughs> you see, it's all about connections. I'm connected to the ground, the ground's connected to you, you're connected to Bluebase. It's like we're all one thing. I can't decide if that's deep or just literal. <laughs> Both? What I'm saying is, why are we here instead of getting lunch? Sarge is supposed to take over like five minutes ago. Huh. Why is there voice so much higher? Don't worry, Lopez. Griffin Simmons would never forget my birthday. <laughs> yep. Any minute now, I'm sure they'll walk in here oh. and give me the greatest gift of all. Their respect. And maybe oh. a gift card. Or a shotgun. Or a <laughs> gift card for a brand new shotgun. That shoots respect. Oh no, we forgot Sarge's birthday! His party hat. Better luck next year. This is a big deal, Griff! It's That's too late so for sad. breakfast in bed! What? Nobody does that. We have to make up for it. We need to get him a really special gift. <laughs> oh, that sounds like work. What if we just grab something from around the base? Look what? All we have here are gray blocks, black blocks, and gray black blocks. We need to get him something special. For once, oh, I'm Simmons. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Who goes there? Listen, Caboose, we are not here to mess around. Yeah, only one of us is here to mess around. <laughs> Which one of us is here to mess around? Is it me? Yes. Sure. Nate. Listen, Caboose, we want something from your I face. I missed Caboose. I don't care what it is, as long as it's valuable and important. Valuable and important. <gasps> Got it. This is the gift I saw. Okay, what's he gonna get? That was easy. Yeah, I was <laughs> expecting more of a fight. Put. Me. Down. This is the most important thing in Blue Base. He is very special and also my best friend. Caboose, down. Sarge does like prisoners. I am not participating 
in whatever stupid thing it is you're doing, Red. <laughs> Come on, Church. I mean, think about it. You helping me is just like you helping yourself. We're all How? connected. Connected figuratively or literally? I, you know what? I don't even care. What about Freckles? Can we have your big killer robot? <laughs> we need a birthday gift for Sarge. No way. Besides, what do you need a gift for? As long as you provided the traditional breakfast in bed, you're fine. Oh. I told you. Sick burn. Oh boy. There you are, fraternizing with the other team. Simmons, I am deeply disappointed in you. Griff, Aww. I consider this pretty much par for the course. We weren't, Sarge, I swear. We were negotiating the blue team surrender. Round and round we go. Does uh anyone else hear that? I can't hear it. He's going for all this treason. <laughs> Heard that though? I don't want to alarm anyone, but I'm pretty sure someone's coming. Not you can bow wow. Oh <laughs> god, the overlord's back! Oh my god. Any volunteers who are for sub experience? Don't move. Its vision is based on movement. Malcolm! You're not in your brother's room, are you? I'm just looking, Mom! <laughs> Those are your brother's toys, not yours. I know! <laughs> These I do for science. Oh no! Not me! Over here! Pick me! Oh, come on! I'm so glad. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, where are we? Everything is so smooth and colorful. <laughs> it looks familiar, just, you know, better. <laughs> is this Canada? Well, wherever it's we are, HD. I don't we're be here long. The Overlord has plans for us. Oh man, Sarge would love one of these. You think the Overlord will at least grant me one last meal? That's what you guys are thinking about? Food and birthday presents? Not, you know, getting out of here? I'm well, with church on this one. Then, church? Donut? What are you doing here? The Overlord abducted me days ago. I assumed you were the rescue operation. Oh, no. We had <laughs> didn't no even idea you were gone. gone. <laughs> oh, boy. Experiment Nard 05679. Today we'll be testing the effects of hydrochloric acid, small explosives, and electricity on a collection of test subjects. First, the acid. Why do the feeling this is like baby slow mo, guys? How I was! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Donut! No! Eh, I'm sure it'll turn up again in three years. <laughs> I'm with the gun with Griff there. I can't believe Donut's fucking dead. Jen Brown. Can wait. I asked you twice to take out the trash already. It's now or never, guys. Just throw your guns. This is the only time we see them without guns in the Blood Gulch Chronicles. What is he doing? Is he gonna tie his shoelaces together? <laughs> you guys, wait up. What, what are you doing? I can't believe he got it for Sarge. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, we need some ideas quick. Ooh, how about an ACDC cover band, but with all ukuleles? We could call ourselves Ukulele DC. Or a t-shirt that looks the same backwards and forwards, so it doesn't matter how you put it on. I'm totally on board for both of those ideas. Oh, a saddle for dolphins. <laughs> Just throwing that one out there. Nice, bro. No more ideas. Let me think. It's like some sort of big cat. What? Oh my god. Is everything Jurassic Park to Simmons? Oh no. <gasps> oh Roomba! No one move. Its vision is based on movement. DJ Roomba! <laughs> I'm so glad. For sure. See, that's how I wish Malcolm was, you know? Like playing video games like a normal kid. <laughs> oh god, she's gonna crush us. <laughs> and of course, there are toys on the floor. <laughs> At least we're off the ground. It's dangerous down there. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna spot us as soon as he gets back. We could just hide behind that piece of. <gasps> 
Oh. Holy mother of Satan. Dibs. Not now. We need the cover. No. You listen to me. I have been dragged along on I don't know how many adventures. <laughs> no one has ever asked Griff what Griff wants. Well, Griff wants pizza. And no one is getting in Griff's way. Griff smash? You, not Simmons. Not Sarge. Yeah! Oh, my God. Oh, you're kidding me. Congratulations. You've been rescued. My perfect record of never leaving a man behind remains unbesmirched. <laughs> yeah. About that, Sarge, we lost Donut. Actually, I'm right here. What? Okay, how did you do that? Amen. Everybody, get on! Hurry up, Griff! Griff, what are you... Oh, for the love of... Is he trying to bring it? I regret nothing. Griff, <laughs> we have to go. He's coming back. Can't... I'm so happy this exists. Oh, there you are. That's it. End of the line. Hey, Sarge. Yeah. Happy birthday. Oh my God. Oh, you remember? <laughs> oh All no. Right. Step aside, ladies. You have the arm of an infant, Tucker. Give it to Donut. <laughs> this has never happened to me before. Bow chicka bow wow. I was gonna say bow chicka bow wow if he didn't. You have got quite the nerve, Malcolm Hargrove. <gasps> crackers inside the house? It, it wasn't me. It was a... It, I'm going to my room and never leaving. And my brother's toys are not my science experiments. Malcolm Hargrove. <laughs> that was a fine piece of explosive you got me. You fight good. I always wanted. Oh, it wasn't just me, Sarge. Yeah, well, I guess some connections are just hard to break. <laughs> me. Oh my cake! It's gonna be really hard for a grift to shit. <laughs> I love how Lopez is listed as a voice, even though Lopez says nothing. The entire video. He's just a head. <laughs> Do you realize how weird it would be if in one of these alternate red versus blue universes Lopez actually spoke English? That would be the most unsettling thing, I think. Just everything is the same. Ixel Lopez speaks either English or French. And that would be terrifying. Genuinely terrifying. In every sense. So, I'm kind of glad I actually saw that. I'm pretty sure the entire video is me listening silently and just going. Which is pretty standard, actually, by this point. But the kid is Malcolm Hargrove. Of all the kids they did, they decided to do Malcolm Hargrove. I'm dead inside. Just gonna... Nope. 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 Oh, that was good. Okay, that was good. And you guys should check out, because I haven't really been keeping up on Ruby Chibi. But I will be putting up a video later this week that is me reacting to all of the Ruby TV episodes so far, except for the first one, because I've already seen that, and now that's a good Donna. But anyway, a uh, quick summary. Uh, PCC was just last weekend, so it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which was dates like the 2nd to the 5th or something like that. And we have videos. I actually got to meet Aaron Zach, which was really, really cool. And it was kind of funny because you go up with something um, with your name on it, I guess, to, you know, to say, say how to spell it. And she was like, are you fucking kidding me? And it was like, yeah, I'm not fucking kidding you. We have the same name. It's cool. And it, it was really awesome. It was amazing. And we're going to be talking about it more during our Phoenix Comic Con video, which I'm in the process of sorting through copious amounts of footage for right now because I hate myself. And videos because... It's now summer vacation, and I have fewer obligations. Not no obligations, but fewer obligations. Videos will be back more back to normal. They'll be a little bit more frequent, but they'll probably not be completely back to normal until after RTX, which is Jan July 1st through 3rd, if you saw in the video. Because 
This year, Emily and I are going along with Ollie, Danny, Ripley, and our friend Jordy, who you will see in the PCC video. And I'm not sure what hotel we're getting in off the top of our head, but you can expect probably daily blogs, blogs, daily vlogs from us, and then one complete wrap-up video. And you'll also be seeing my friend Neil, who will be starting a YouTube channel here as well, and you guys can check him out on, uh, the real deal McNeil on Twitch and pretty much everywhere, because he's Neil. That's the only explanation I have. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think. And there was a lot of comments on the RV reaction, RVB reaction video from last week, just because apparently a lot of people don't like the idea that Caboose, Donut, and Kai are all freelancers. And I would like to formally say, you guys can believe what you want. You don't want to think they're freelancers? Go ahead. You don't, you do want to think they're freelancers? Go ahead. Um, no one's n inherently wrong or right in that respect. So just don't be a jackass. That's, that's all I have to say. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in. I expect to see you guys at RTX. That'd be really, really cool. And there'll be another AMV up soon. I finally am able to do those again. My hard drive got corrupted, so I lost all of my data. So most of the, uh, the AMVs I have done so far ended up getting scrapped, which made it very difficult to find the motivation to keep going um, with them, which I am going to do. But it'll just be a little bit while. Probably only one or two before RTX will come out. But thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a lot of fun. I'm going to keep doing these whenever I can, which should hopefully be more regularly and not four days after the episode comes out. And comment, like, subscribe, do your business, follow me on Twitter, do live your life, love yourself, drink lots of hot chocolate. That seems like a good ending, right?